Greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Don't ask me why, but I've got tons of these things left over. These are the, the little grommet things that go on the uh, tuner. So what to do with these things? Seriously, I have no idea how I got so many of these things. But anyhow, um, I had a recent customer want a Randy Rhodes style polka dot left-handed guitar. So I figured I'm just going to make the soundboard be these things here. There's two screws on the back that hold the entire body to the neck. And there's one screw on the top here that holds the top to the neck. And there's obviously going to be four corner screws as well. Uh, but right now, none, none of the screws are in place. So I can just lift it up and I'm just going to tilt it back. So the... Um, the output of the single coil goes to one side of the switch. The output of the piezo underneath the saddle goes to the other side of the switch. The output of the switch to the potentiometer, um, everything's grounded. And then the output of the potentiometer to the jack. And there is an extra ground wire you can see there going to this ground that I'm going to use to ground the, the bridge. All right, some things I need to point out before we do the sound check. Obviously, this is a left-handed guitar. The volume control here is reverse wound. So to turn it up, you go counterclockwise. To turn it down, you go clockwise. And notice how they are positioned in alignment with the dots. So I also opted to do these kind of corners just because I think it looks more substantial and this, this dot theme carries over into the hinge, the pickup, the fretboard, top and front side, as well as the headstock. Now notice those holes in the headstock are actually holes. You can see the light through there. So you could tie a strap through there if you wanted to. Um, but anyhow, oh yeah, and a nice scarf joint on that reverse headstock. Poplar neck, beautiful heel. I mean, this is just clean through and through. So anyhow, I just thought I'd point that out to you before we did the sound check. All right, we are plugged into the Roland Micro Cube. And again, these strings are backwards for me. So I, I recommend trying this out. Put the bass string in the bass, or on the low part, rather, the middle string in the middle, and the skinny string on the top. And then play your normal licks, and everything is backwards. <laughs> delicious clean sound put a little bit of reverb on it when I'm in the back position here that is the mag pickup When it's on the top side, it's the piezo. I like the mid. 
middle position, which is the best of both worlds. You get the punch of the piezo, but you get the warmth and the depth and the sponginess of the single coil. <laughs> to say this thing just wants to rock. <laughs> Extravaganza. Whoa.